Foreign rates and inflation with Priya Misra, fixed income portfolio manager, JP Morgan Asset Management. Priya, great to have you with us. Welcome to Fast Money. Thanks for um, having me. Has your outlook changed at all based on today's print? So it hasn't changed, but like Chair Powell said, we need more con. He, you know, the, the Fed's looking for more confidence. Well, we have more confidence. So the Fed is about to start to cut rates. We expect the first cut in September and a series of cuts after that. I think we're going to stop talking about when do they start. Is it September, November, July came up today? To how much are they going to cut? And, you know, are, are these soft landing cuts? Soft landing cuts are very, very rare. You know, the only time we've really seen it is in 95, where they cut only 75 basis points. The market's pricing in cuts all the way to three and a half. I think even in a soft landing, they can cut to 3%. And what if that labor market does continue to weaken? Then they are cutting a lot more. You know, do they cut quickly enough? I think that's what the market's grappling with. But I think the fixed income market heard that report, said the Fed's going to start to cut. Interest rates fell. And I think that's the start. Now we start to price in these rate cuts and, and the totality of, of, of that easing cycle. Are equity valuations telling you anything about the fixed income market or vice versa? And just curious, because again, you know, we know that, you know, valuations are not a good timing tool, but it seems that they're kind of extreme in a handful of names that represent a disproportionate amount of the earnings growth. And if we were to see de deceleration, I think you'll see multiples come in. So I think it's fascinating. Unlike the equity market, where the concentration is so high in the fixed income market, I would argue there's value across the board. It's because a lot of the fixed income investors have been out of the fixed income market because you had negative real rates. You know, uh, interest rates were zero for a very long period of time. Then when we had these rate increases, there was this fear that inflation might resurface, might be sticky. The Fed still might hike. I think all that money has been, you know, sitting on the sidelines. So we see value in investment rate corporate, in high yield and securitized credit. So I, I would say when I look at the equity market, it's actually interesting, tells me positioning. Positioning is highly concentrated in these few sectors. And I look at the fixed income market and I see a sea of opportunities as, that, as we start to realize that these all-in yields of 5%, 6%, we're not getting that as the Fed starts to cut rates. I think you'll see that you know, investors starting to look for value across the board. Priya, when we got to March, we reached the longest inversion since they started counting, you know, inversions, right? I think it was longer than the 78 to 80 period. So we're in July now. I think we're, what, 28 or so basis points. But it appears as though we're going to re-steep. And I think we got down to 13 basis points earlier this year. What does it mean? Is it a good thing or historically it has not been such a great thing for equity markets? So I think inverted yield curves are weird, um, but and and the market's been you know dealing with that, which is why it, your your question is valid. I think the question is how much can be steep, and as long as we start to uninvert or disinvert or get to more normal levels, the front end really now as the Fed starts to cut rates and we start to think, well, they can cut all the way to 3%. The Fed's own dot plot suggests 275. If they cut that much, that front end has a lot more room to fall. The long end, not as much. That's a normal yield curve. That's good for banks. I, I think, you know, you can start to look at every other market and say which, which areas benefit from a steep yield curve. I think a steep yield curve is good. But we have to be careful. If it's steepening too much, that's a sign of a recession. That's bad. So I would say small steepening is actually good for certain sectors. You start to steepen a lot more. That means the market's getting the rates market's telling you that, you know, something's not that good. This is a sinister weakening. Recession's always nonlinear. Every recession starts out looking like a soft landing. I think that's the concern if it steepens too much. I, I don't think at a, you know, 50 basis point, two stands, that that's concerning for any market. And just quickly, Priya, you mentioned the market's starting to price in now the totality of the cuts. We know that they are going to start. What are you telling clients in terms of when that Do you think we're going to price that in very quickly? Are we going to see that being priced into the rates market very quickly? I think we're sort of end, we're near end of cycle, mm -hmm. but the end of cycle can last for a while. Mm -hmm. And can we we're in a soft landing right now? Can the soft landing persist? So what we're telling clients is we're in a soft landing right now. Think about, you know, locking in these these yields. Um, the Fed's likely to cut to three and a half or maybe three percent. If things slow down faster, you want to you want to hedge your risk assets, and that's when you want duration risk. The only hedge, I think correlations are coming back. We haven't had any stock bond correlations for a long time. They're back because the Fed's telling you the inflation fear is on the side, and now they're willing to respond if things slow down. So, you know, I think we, you know, to your question, will we price it in quickly? You know, we have retail sales next week. If that's weak, we'll price it in very quickly. The market's going to start to say, well, why can't the Fed cut three times this year? Mm. Why can't they cut 50 basis points in December? So wow. depending on the data surprises 
and end of cycles can turn very quickly, I think the market can be really fast. If the data remains resilient, earnings season is good, the consumer continues to spend, I think then rates market is probably fair.